Hello and welcome to another video. As you may notice, I am sitting at my computer, which I do when I use the computer. Um, yes. So recently, within the last week, a new asexual dating site was launched. Um, so I thought I would give it a look over and see how it fares. Because if it works, and if it works well, then that's a massive benefit to the ace community, especially those who are alloromantic. So with that in mind, I'm going to create an account on it and run you through all the features. Um, yeah, and see how it is. Uh, one disclaimer before we start, I won't actually be able to properly test it myself because I don't think my boyfriend would be very happy about that. So <laughs> I'm going to go through the account creation process. I'm going to look at the features and I'm going to tell you what my opinion of what it would be, would be like. Um, but of course, this will be without any actual usage of the site itself. Um, yes. And in case you're worried, yes, I did get permission from my boyfriend to make this video before doing it. So he's totally fine with it. <laughs> On that note, let's get started. So this is the main screen of the website. Oh, I forgot to say, this website is called asexuals.net. So if you want to check it out yourself, then uh, go check out the link in the description. Uh, yeah, this is the main uh, main bit of the website. Um, as you can see, it's quite fancy. Um, it's got all these nice graphics, which I'm assuming were made specifically for it. Um, so it definitely looks very professional, which is a step up on all the other ace dating sites that I've seen so far. Um, so yeah, without further ado, bef I'm going to create an account and go through that first and then we can talk about some of the things in a second. Join us. That's a bit creepy. Let's create your own profile. Da -da 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 -da. Yes. Um, so currently the site is free. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second, but they are planning to monetize it in 2021. Let's click learn more just in case. So features, smart matching. The more information your profile has, the better it will match you with others. So that's kind of similar to, um, what's it called? OkCupid okay from the sounds of it. Uh, searching. Yep. So you can search for people who identify as asexual, demisexual, graysexual, and more. So that could be very useful for people. Uh, if you say you wanted to date someone who was asexual specifically because you were sex forced or something, I don't know. Um, it might be easier to date someone who is specifically asexual. Um, private messaging is to do, yep, that seems normal. Photo and videos. Yeah, so I might go through it now actually. So. Visiting individual profiles and messaging will be a paid membership feature in 2021, but for the rest of 2020, everyone will be able to use this feature for free. Now this does concern me slightly because um, if you can't see people's profiles without paying, you can't really do anything with the website. So it is a bit concerning that that will be put behind a pay barrier, um, presumably after it's got a big, big enough user base that um, people will pay for that. Um, but whether that's necessarily a bad thing will depend on the pricing of it. Because if, it, if it's something cheap, like a couple of pounds a month, um, I don't see this necessarily being a problem. But if it gets up to five, ten pounds or more, uh, it could be... If there isn't a large user base, it might not be worth it. Just to clarify, for me personally, I don't have anything against paying for dating sites because I think if you're going to find someone you're going to be in a long-term relationship with, it's worth paying a few pounds to get it, or dollars, or whatever your currency is, yen, rupees, um, bells. <laughs> Photo and videos next to you is... So I think what it does is it lets you put a profile picture and a cover photo, but for free, um, and then you'll be able to add extra photos and videos for a price. But once again, it depends on what the 
prices to whether that's a good or a bad thing. So let's get started with the account. I will... Do I want to put Slice of Ace as my username? Name. I am an asexual man. You're able to select multiple if you're not sure or identify as multiple. That's a good option. And we've got man, woman, non-binary, agender. Cool. Um, I imagine there are more categories you could have here. And also there isn't a... Oh no, there's a romantic orientation down here. I'm getting ahead of myself, sorry. A uh, field can be seen by all members, you can change that to everyone only me, my friends, yeah. That works. Uh, that's a good option to have. I'm just going to put everything on only me, because I'm not actually, I don't want to be interacting with anyone. Uh, I to do. I'm looking for no one, but do I have to put in who I'm looking for? Uh, yes, but the same options as before. It is slightly frustrating me that some of these are capitalized and some aren't, but that isn't a game-breaking thing. Maybe it's a very quick fix as well. You can even do it with like a regular expression, probably. Um, friends or relationship? Let's go friendship. It is kind of nice that you can do that. Um, I don't know... For example, if you're looking for a QPR, would you put relationship or friendship? Maybe it might be an option to put QPR specifically. That might help because maybe you don't want to have mixed messages and have someone looking for a relationship, but then they're actually looking for a QPR and maybe the other person is looking for a romantic relationship, if that makes sense. Um, it would help to, I guess, filter it down if you could put QPR as well. Romantic orientation. Homo romantic, cause I'm gay. Birthday. Let's not put it. About me. I. I'm a YouTuber. And I'm creating an account on the website to test it out. What I'm looking for. Nothing. Uh, hobbies and interests. Okay, that's good. I guess it can be a bit daunting filling out these things if you don't know what to put, but fortunately, I am in a relationship. Would I like children? I don't want children. Do I smoke? Never. Do I drink? Never. So yeah, create your own profile, view members directly. Through members directory, through group directory, through group page, through members profile, send private messages, can't add unlimited media access, premium blogs, or premium support. Select and sign up. This is a required field. Uh, I'm looking for everyone because I'm looking for no one. There's a profile. Let's go on the profile first. So, this has got the information I put in, which is good. Uh, you can edit it, you can change your profile photo, which I won't do because I know we're not going to talk to anyone. Change your cover image, which I guess is this blue square in the background. Cool. Um, that seems pretty basic. Community members. Okay, so now it's giving me a list of people. It tells you how long ago they were on the site. Gives you that information, I assume. Viewing 1 to 24 of 431 active members, so it's already got a decent amount. Um, let's see what happens if I filter it. So, I am an asexual man. That got rid of uh, a little bit less than half. Looking for... An asexual man. Hollow Knight. Uh, there we go. Down to 30. My normal criteria is plus or minus 5 years. 
um, not including, not but not lower than twenty. Country. How much does that get down to? Fourteen. Ooh. Can we get it down to one? United Kingdom. Three. Yeah. And one of those is me. So there are two people currently on the site who, if I was dating, would fit my normal criteria. So we'll see what happened if I put demisexual and grey sexual man on as well. I get an extra two people. So this is obviously isn't the fault of the website. Um, <laughs> it's just because it's very new. But that is something to keep in mind. Um, it's good that there are these searchy features. Um, so you can filter down who you're looking for to get to them quicker. Um, time will tell whether it comes to anything. But yes, let's find someone. Find someone to look at their profile. I apologize in advance. I will. I will wait. F I'll get to the Hollow Knight again because I liked the Hollow Knight. There we go. Let's click on the Hollow Knight. It's like in a uh, Sailor Moon costume, is that? Yep, so you can see all the information I put on there. That. Okay, so this is, this is quite good having different um, uh, what they called groups as well. So you, and say if you really like games, you go in the gamers one and then instantly find people who you could talk to, maybe just as friends, maybe for relationships. Um, but yeah, I think that's a pretty neat idea. Homer romantic aces. There's 16 people in that. I'd be, I'd say it's probably worth splitting those in two. If you want to look for relationships, that sort of thing, and you could kind of put all the, all the guys in one group and all the girls in one group, and then they could all match. <laughs> Not if it works that way. I guess these are the groups that people make. But yeah, you can see from the like the different regions, there's gonna be a lot of people from America, quite a few people from the UK, a few from other countries in Europe. Um But yeah, it really I think the it will really depend where you are to how much success you're gonna have with this. Um but yeah. I think that's pretty much all Oh yeah, there's also this blog which they do posts about things. Um, some are informative, like this is a one list of definitions of different romantic orientations. So hetero, bi, pan, homo, demi, aromantic. Um, there's posts about dating apps for asexuals to tell you about different ones if you're not interested in this one, which is good. Um, to be honest, I think this is very promising. I think that's pretty much all I can do on the site. I'm obviously not going to start talking to people. Um, log it. Um, but yeah, I think this is one that's worth keeping an eye on. If it's something you're interested in, it's probably a good time to sign up. Um, just because at the moment it's free, so you can see whether you like it. Um, at, at, at this point in time, there's obviously not a large enough user base because it's only been out for a week or so. But I'm hoping by making this video, um, I can help spread the word about it if that's something you're interested in. It really is beneficial to have all ace people interested in dating and relationships in one place because there is a minority of us. So if you're split between different apps, um, then it's going to be harder to find someone that you're compatible with. So I think this is definitely, from the first glance, it seems better than Asexual Cupid, the other one that I've used. Um, but obviously I can't say that for certain, 
because the pricing model hasn't been announced yet, and that will play a very big part into how successful this is, I think. Because if it's too expensive, then no one will pay for it and you won't be able to message anyone. Um, and it'll be very restrictive on who can actually join. Whereas if it's cheaper, then hopefully enough people will join that they will become this community on the site. Um, yes. Other than that, um, the creator does seem very willing to take feedback into account. So if there's anything you think that is missing from this, um, any orientations in that, um, go. I know you can contact them on Twitter. Um, there's also a contact page here. I could probably tell you about that. Yep. So the contact page uh, doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> So, um, that's promising, uh, maybe down here, nope, okay, anyway, it's a very new website, um, yeah, I know that the, the creator of the site has a Twitter account, which I will also link down below, so I encourage that if you want to use it and have any criticisms or any th things that you think could be improved, then do say so. I think one thing that I noticed was lack of QPRs. If that's something you're interested in, it might be a bit more difficult to find that on here. Um, and I think that'll be beneficial to be able to filter people who want QPRs or are looking for a QPR, because I think that's definitely a lot harder to find than say a traditional romantic relationship, because um, you're gonna have a smaller subset of people who are interested in that. Um, yeah, other than that, like I said, seems promising, but we'll have to wait on the pricing model. Uh, other than that, yes, uh, if you are interested in checking this out, uh, do let me know in the comments below. Keep me updated if you have any good or bad experiences about it. I'm really interested in hearing about them because I personally can't use it for finding relationships at the moment because I'm in a relationship and I don't cheat on people. Um, <laughs> but I really want this to be successful because I know it can be very difficult for people who identify as asexual to date, and I know that, and I get a lot of messages from people specifically asking about these dating sites, um, and I find it very difficult to answer because it's difficult for me to recommend one that is that is good um, th and, and, and catered specifically towards people on the A spectrum. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully this is good. That's what I'm saying. Um, I might check back in on this every now and then. Uh, but yeah, other than that, if you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. I post videos every other Saturday at least. So if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. That is all I had to say today. Have a wonderful day and I shall see you next time.